let's get to our Oscar <laughs> countdown. Zuri, we are just yes. four days away. Yes, get excited, people. The style is going to be incredible. And now, East Style host, Zana Roberts Rossi, is uncovering the secrets that you didn't know behind some of the Oscars' most iconic looks ever, straight from the insiders who helped create those looks, starting with Lupita and Youngo in 2014. I designed it with Prada and uh, my stylist, and we were inspired by champagne bubbles, you know, in the spirit of celebrating. Lupita is very involved in the design and the styling process. The Prada gown Lupita wore to the 2014 Oscars was no exception. The Best Actress winner hand-picking the blue color because it reminded her of her hometown of Nairobi. She even had her stylist rework her headpiece at the last minute. The piece that Fred Layton sent had silver and diamonds. She wanted it gold. So it was literally dipped two days before in gold to make this fabulous halo look. <laughs> Billy Porter 2019 custom Christian Siriano. Drop the mic. I wouldn't be the fashion icon that I am if it wasn't for Christian stepping up. There were lots of designers that wouldn't even think about doing something like that. Billy was really inspired by watching Fashion Week. He'd seen a lot of men wearing gowns and not the drag kind of dressing. He was super inspired. So he went to talk to his friend, Christian Siriano. Christian immediately said, Absolutely. This dress was actually turned out in a few days just before the Oscars. Christian told me that Billy obviously wasn't in New York City, so he'd had to use his own assistant as the fit model. <laughs> Michelle Williams, 2006, this was a shocker at the time simply because of the color. Kate Young is her stylist of 20 years and she said she was inspired when she was cooking eggs. Michelle's Vera Wang gown made a statement for more than its color, featuring a number of delicate design details. One is a panel at the back that kind of emulates a train. There's also a cute little loop that Kate had built in so Michelle could actually pick the dress up. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow, 1999, won for Shakespeare in Love. She went to Ralph Lauren a couple of days before the Oscars and saw this dress. It actually was originally with a corset. They changed it to this camisole slip top. Let's talk about this. Harry Winston, beautiful choker and earrings. After she won, her father bought her these pieces. They will be around $180,000 today. Barbra Streisand, 1969, won for Funny Girl in this incredible sheer pantsuit. Rocking the Arnold Scassi Ensemble, Barbara was the first female star to don pants on the Oscar red carpet. Babs told us personally that she actually had two looks ready to go for that night. One long dress or this fantastic pantsuit. She ended up choosing the pantsuit simply because she was very short on time, she said she's always late, and that she wanted to just go with the easier to wear choice. Ah, oh, she's so iconic. Right. Streisand can do no wrong. Nope. Honestly, neither can Xana. Right. Uh, such a style. Nailed star. it. We love you, girl. Check out today's white carpet rollout for this year's Oscars. It's airing Sunday at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on ABC.